Is anyone in there? Oh, welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Happy Friday, TGIF. It's time for Mail Vlog Friday edition. I just dropped off my friend Scott Yukin at the airport. He was here visiting me on a little mini vacation. Got back to the house, checked my P.O. box over the last, whoa, whoa, I'm dropping envelopes everywhere. Mail vlog, starting right now. What are these letters that I'm dropping all over the floor? These are self-addressed stamped envelopes. If you do not know how a self-addressed stamped envelope works, all these fine people, you have sent me these letters Inside these, hopefully, is a self-addressed stamped envelope folded up inside another envelope that you have addressed me to my P.O. Box, which is Adam the Woo, P.O. Box 1008, Orange, California, zip code 90856. And every one of these envelopes right here, I'm not going to be able to read all these. It's going to be very difficult to open all these packages that you guys have sent me. This absolutely completely blows me away, as well as the interest you guys have in receiving some of my Adam the Woo stickers. I probably gonna need to reorder some stickers. I do have enough to fulfill all these self-addressed stamped envelopes. I'm not gonna read these letters on the vlog. I will read them later, but I will open up all of these packages you see before you in the vlog. However, everyone that sent me a self-addressed envelope, I would like to read off their names, Wilkinson's, they have, they have actually requested a self-addressed stamped envelope. They are in Winchester, California. On the back, people have written stickers. This does not have an address. That's a mystery person. Another mystery person. Another, oh, this is from Palm, Palmdale, California. Someone by the name of Wrestler. I don't know if it's a WR Wrestler, but Wrestler with an R, R-E-S-S-L-E-R. -E -E the Hills in Iowa sent me. A letter, self-addressed stamped envelope, requesting stickers. Megan Perry in Kentucky? Kentucky? I've been to Kentucky. I've actually been to a lot of states. There's only two states I have not been to in the last two years. That's North Dakota and South Dakota. I need to plan a road trip up to there. But everywhere else in the continental United States I have been to. Bela Schaller? You sent me one. Daryl Watson? You sent me one. Daniel Johnson? You sent me one. Gerald Langley, you sent me one. Christopher Long, Chris Carpenter, Myra DeLong, you sent me one. Carla, you sent me one. What's your last name? F-R-M-C, you're in L-A. Sherman Thompson, you sent me a self-addressed stamped envelope for some Adam Lewis stickers. Monroe Jory, you sent me one. Bridget Richards, the Bentz family, formerly of St. Cloud. I'm guessing that's... For, that's the Florida version of St. Cloud, where my former home was. Now they live in Polk City. You guys have some Adam the Woo stickers coming your way. Vincent, Baran, the Ferrone family, Sean Erickson, George DePold, you have some stickers coming your way. Dynasty Gould, you have some stickers coming your way. Robert White, you have some stickers coming your way. This one I cannot... Tell someone in Arlington, Ohio. I've been to Arlington, Texas, but I'm not familiar with Arlington, Ohio. Kevin Brune. Someone named Timmy with three M's. Three M's. T-I-M-M-M-Y. Plainville, M-I. You have stickers coming your way. Jason Gall. This one is from Adam the Woo to Adam the Woo. So I don't know who addressed this one, but I guess... Maybe I address one to myself or someone just did not want to put their address or their name on here. This is the mystery package for envelopes. UF, Mr. James P. Fletcher in Umatilla, Florida. James, I've been to Umatilla, Florida. Kind of a little hole in the wall, small town. In the nether regions of Florida. Tom Vane, V-A-N-E, Phoenix, Arizona. This is another mystery one. Oh, here we go. Shannon Harding. Stickers coming your way. Doug Prater in Washington, Olympia, Washington, which I think Olympia, isn't that about an hour south of Seattle? Mike Cassius in Indiana, my sister lives in Indiana, Portland, Oregon, Marie Winton. I need to get up to Portland and Seattle and all those areas at some point. J.P. Fowlin, you have stickers coming your way. Dropped another one down here. Stone 
in Covina, California. I think I know who you are, Stone, so I am going to send you some stickers as well. Troy, Joe Stodd, and also in, what is that, Wisconsin? Onalaska, Wisconsin. I think that's Wisconsin. Paul Hester, Eric, how do you pronounce your last name, Eric? Eric, P-I-C-H-E, Eric Peach, Pitch, Eric, P-I-C-H-E, from St. Cloud, not Florida, but Minnesota, that's awesome, and Toby Polon, Pole Man, P-O-E-H-L-M-A-N-N, from Pasadena, California, not far from Orange County, California, where I am residing. Thank you for all the self-addressed stamped envelopes, and I can tell there are also some letters and things in here as well. So after the vlog is finished, after I open all these, at the end, I'm going to go through these with a fine tooth comb. Comb the desert! Comb the desert, just like Spaceballs, quote. I will look through these. I know a lot of you guys have written things in here. I'm not only just going to send you stickers, but I'm also going to read these letters. These mean a lot to me. The packages mean a lot to me. So these will be read on my own time after the vlog. We only have a limited time together to open everything. I'm going to set these over there. Also, if you guys want some, me to send you a little something, some people say, I want you to sign something, feel free to send that as well. I dropped this package. Did I mention this one? Somebody here, another mystery one that I dropped, put stickers, see? Write stickers. I'm dropping them everywhere. Write stickers on the back. And I will send you stuff in the mail, something back in your self-addressed stamped envelope. All right. It's time for the nitty-gritty. I'm really completely overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that has been in my P.O. box all week. So the first one we're going to open is from 80s Tea. I don't know what's in here, but I'm guessing it's probably, spoiler alert, coming from me, I'm guessing it's probably an 80s tea, perhaps? So here we go. Here is an invoice, a letter. There is no name anywhere on this. So whoever sent me this, you know who you are, but no one else. It's a mystery. And here is a shirt. Whoa. Get to the chopper. Oh, it's from Predator. Look at this. That's right. Come on. Get to the chopper. Come on. If it bleeds, we can kill it. And I love this. I love old school 80s Arnold movies. And I love this. So whoever sent me this, did not see your name on the package, or I'm just completely bewildered by how much stuff I have to open. Whoever sent me this, man, woman, child, family, I love this. And actually, I don't have any clean laundry, so this is actually a very, very fantastic, very fantastic thing. All right, the next, the next one here is from Mitchell Kinzer in New Jersey. Well, let's see what we got. Coming to me from New Jersey. I need to find a better way of opening these packages because as you can see, this knife that I'm using, that actually my dad gave me, I need to sharpen it because it is dulling out quite a bit. All right. Ah, this is just for stickers. I'm a big fan of your videos and the locations you choose. It's like a small 10 to 15 vacation, 10 to 15 minute vacation every day from Mitchell Kenzer, he has provided self-addressed stamped envelopes. So I will put this over here with the other ones as well. The official Popeye fan club has actually sent me something as well, which I do not know what this could be. I'm going to guess that it's probably something Popeye related. I mentioned in the vlog the other day, me and Scott Yukin were talking about how Popeye is actually being renovated, being reimagined without his tattoo arm the front of his arm and without the pipe which is really weird so you guys here at the official popeye fan club what do you guys think about that adam here are some 50 year old disneyland cards that we're going to be thrown through i will read all this i'll put it over here with the other stuff i'll read this after the vlog but debbie and mike brooks home of popeye in chesty illinois c-h-e-s-t-e -E, chester illinois and you guys have put in here, oh my gosh, all kind of old pamphlets. Look at all these old pamphlets full of stuff. And these old, oh my gosh, look at this. Old Disneyland postcards. Sad-Eye Joe, Ghost Town. 
from Knott's Berry Farm. Oh my gosh, this is actually really super cool. And look at this, Popeye, they weren't kidding. Where it all began, Popeye, historic Chester's Opera House. Thanks so much for these. Actually, I probably should just pop these open, see what we have inside. So I know you guys are probably super, super curious to see what these are. Look at these, Disneyland. Look at this, there's the teacups right there. Look at all these, the Mark Twain. Very, very cool. This, and there's Sad Eye Joe from Knott's Berry Farm, right there. He talks to you, Sad Eye Joe. Thank you very much for this. This is very, very, very cool. I'm gonna throw this down here, throw this down here, throw my trash over here. All right, to a box. We got Michael Garuta. Do you see how I'm wielding this knife in a very unprofessional fashion? Should probably be trained on the art of opening boxes, but I am not. All right, self-addressed stamped envelope, which I'll put over here. Four, some stickers, and this is from Michael Garuta, which I've said before. Here we go. He's back, the man behind the mask. I don't know what that means, but I think this is a private letter that he probably doesn't want me to read on the blog, so we'll throw that over there. Here we have some green pet paper and some green bubble wrap here. All right, what do we got here? Oh my gosh! Johnny Lightning set. Look at this. Great Scott. It's a time machine. Marty! And Doc Brown Enterprises on the side. Everybody knows, if you watch these vlogs, I'm a huge fan of Back to the Future. You have sent me all kinds of knickknacks. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's in all this stuff. A Snow Globe Mickey from 2002 and a box full of other papers and other assorted goodies. Look at this, little, little Mickey Mouse Christmas edition. And then at the bottom of his package down here, there is another package, another package inside of here. T-shirt, it looks like inside of here, and some sort of envelope which I will probably put that over there. That might be a private thing that I will read after the vlog. Oh, oh, I love when you guys send me t-shirts because I have not done laundry yet. We did get a washer and dryer. My roommates got a washer and dryer. We have yet to use it, but hopefully soon I will be using it. But first, I will be wearing Jason Voorhees. That is awesome. All right, thank you very much for all the goodies. We'll put these down here on the floor. And there's one other thing. Let me put this over here. There's one other thing here inside this. What could this be? Oh, look at this. Waltz 100. And there's the Mickey hands. Look at that, I've never actually seen that. That is actually super, super cool. You can actually put some letters in there. I could stuff all the letters that you, self-addressed stamped envelopes that you guys send me. So thank you very much for that. All right, moving on. This does not have a name on it. It says from North Las Vegas. <laughs> Saturday the 14th, I posted about this on Oh my gosh, I posted this on my Facebook. And someone who took it upon themselves, used their Columbo-like skills, and they sent me this knowing that I wanted to watch this. This is awesome. This is a classic. First we have the opening of the package Friday the 13th, but prepare yourself for Saturday the 14th. The movie, has anyone ever seen this? I don't know who sent me this. This is anonymous, so Mr. Anonymous, Mrs. Anonymous, child, the anonymous, thank you. Very, very much for that. I will enjoy that. We got a Blu-ray player here at the house. Blu-ray players, I believe, also play DVDs. Do they not play DVDs? So I'm hoping that that will work in the Blu-ray player. All right, who sent me this? Jimmy Bowen from Merced, California. M-E-R-C-E-D, California. 
vlogs and stickers. The front says, well, let's see. You notice I have a knife right here, but I'm not using the knife. I'm using my hands, my bare hands. California, an old school California license plate, which is actually really cool and rusty. Luckily, I've had my tetanus shot because that license plate has a lot of tetanus on it. And look at these, some old California coasters, I'm guessing. Some old California coasters here. Look at these, old California coasters. There's actually four of them, which is really cool. I bought a Haunted Mansion coaster from Disneyland, but I need some other coasters to go around the house. That way, when I put my Mountain Dew down on it, when the roommates come over, they put their water down on it, or their beverages, or their soda. We have guests that can use these. Awesome coasters, that's awesome. And here we go. Welcome to California, Adam. Here's some stuff from my house to yours. Thank you for the videos, keep it up. If you ever need a place to stay while you're up north, my place is yours. Mi casa, wu casa, basically, in other words, Jimmy, is that Jimmy on Instagram, forward look, and a self-addressed stamped envelope, not from Jimmy, but to Kim. Hmm, maybe it's Kimmy, is it Kimmy, or is it Jimmy? I'm not really sure. I can't tell from your signature, but I'm guessing Jimmy or Kimmy? I'm not really sure, where's the package at? Jimmy Bowman, I was right. But yet the self-addressed stamped envelope is someone named Kim, so maybe you want to send a secret sticker to a secret person with another name. Hmm, very interesting. Thank you very much, Jimmy, for all this stuff. And here's a cool old, old, uh, what is this? Disneyland ride from 2006. Well, that's a little memento from nine, from nine years ago. I'll put this down here. Self-addressed stamped envelope goes over here with the rest of the self-addressed stamped envelopes. Man, we have a lot to get through here. This is from, ba -ba -bum, no name, from Amazon Fulfillment, so another anonymous. Whoa! This is a gift from John Cox, J-O-N, without the H, Cox, C-O-X. Happy Valentine's Day, Adam, and welcome to California. Figured you should be introduced to the wackiness and the weirdness of the Golden State. I am up in San Francisco. There's plenty of it here. Definite road trip material. I love road trips. John, much appreciated. You have sent me something I really can use. I love this series of books. Weird California. This is awesome. If you guys are not familiar with this series of books, the Weird series of books, check it out. You can see all kind of weird stuff. Local heroes and villains. All kind of weird, wacky stuff. This is the kind of stuff I am passionate about. So thank you very much, John. Much appreciated for the book. Stick this down here with that. And here we go. Here's another one. We are moving very fast. This is very difficult to do. This is from Australia. To keep the vlog moving, these are unedited vlogs. Speaking of vlogs, speaking of non-vlogs on my other channel, the Adam the Woo channel, I'm working on an edited filming location video, which no one has done. I will be the first one to have done it. I'm very excited to unleash that to the world. It's one of my favorite action movies. So you guys are going to love that. Here is a self-addressed stamped envelope. Just, oh my gosh, Australia? Good day, Adam. I signed and meant to send this to you two years ago when you went and found me water in a Daily Woo baseball day diamond. I remember that. There was a water fountain. I think you filmed maybe a video of you in that same one. I have something on my foot. This is sticking to my foot. I remember that from two years ago. And inside here is a baseball. Look at this. You found water. Enjoy this thing. That is super cool. Adam, you make me happy. Three exclamation points. You signed that. That was from two years ago. I've been doing these daily vlogs for over two years. July 2nd, coming up, July 2nd will be three years. I'm about to approach a thousand days. Hopefully I hit a thousand. Hopefully I hit, I know when you play baseball, if you hit a thousand, you would be perfect. No one's perfect, but I hopefully will be hitting a thousand days soon. And three years, you know, I actually know how to throw a slider 
and a knuckleball and a curveball. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be a baseball player. That dream did not become a reality. But this is awesome, very cool. I will put that down there and continue on. Thank you for sending me that all the way from Australia. Very, very cool. Vlog me. This says vlog me, and it's from Andy K in Tucson, Arizona. Let's see what we have all the way from Arizona. You have taped this up very, very well. It's actually probably a lot easier for me to just open things up. This is from Andy K. Andy! Trying to do Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Andy was the boyfriend that was jealous of Pee Wee. Whoa, what is this? Adam, enjoy this wonderful 1985 Back to the Future promo pen. That is cool. Unfortunately, it's not the one that sells for $30 on eBay, but I thought it was still pretty cool. This is actually more than pretty cool. This is super cool. Thank you very much for this. This is awesome. I will stick this over here. Thank you very much, Andy K for the Back to the Future pen. Anything... Back to the Future, I am a big fan of. Sally, how do you pronounce your last name? Sally, O-S-K-U-I-E, Oskewi? Sally Oskewi, you are in Orangevale, California, and I love this packaging. Just look at this, look at this packaging that we have here. Sorry, it's not chocolate. Hmm, I don't know what this could be, but maybe it's edible. Maybe Sally sent me something. Whoa, Whitman's. Chocolates? Are you sure it's not chocolate, Sally? Are you sure it's not chocolate? Is it not chocolates? There's a card in here. Lucky and blessings and every good thing. Congratulations on leaving the road lifestyle behind you and staying still. Good for you. Enclose a piece of glass art for your wall. Use the entire enclosed sticky tabs to affix it to the wall. And a bunch of other things. Saying she's been a subscriber for a very long time. Hope you make videos forever. Sally Oskewi, YouTube channel Dragon Breath. A little shout out to YouTube channel Dragon Breath. And let's see what this is. Oh my gosh. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. This is really cool. I love this. Thank you very much. And I will, I will actually, you can actually see your guys' reflection in there. Look. There's you. We're 22 minutes into this vlog. Look at this. It's a tunnel of goodness. I really love this, and I will follow your instructions with the sticky little doohickeys to plant it up on the wall in a normal fashion to keep it on the wall for a while. And you were right. You were right. They are not chocolates. All right, this is from Mike Rockland in St. Michael, Minnesota. I have some good friends up in Minnesota. All right, so here we go. Do not bend, we are not bending. We have some letters here. Oh my gosh, should I open these? Should I open these letters? Here we have a card. Oh wow, this is quite exciting. This is an elderly woman who is very double-jointed, saying, woo congrats on 100,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. And to the new home. That is awesome. And obviously, you're, to me, saying thank you, and not thank you, but saying welcome to me, to my new home. Nothing says it better than a woman, an older woman, against a street sign in public, showing the fact that she is very limber, <laughs> So thank you for that. And a PayPal prepaid MasterCard. Ew. This, this is awesome. Thank you so much. I can't even, I'm, I'm blown away by how much, how much compassion and how much you guys are into what I'm doing and for sending me all this stuff. I know I get overly excited in these vlogs, especially these unedited ones, but this, this is absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. I'm gonna stick it down here with the rest of the pile that's formulating down at the bottom. Thank you. Honestly, thank you very, very much for that. I really appreciate it. 
All right, another one from Amazon Fulfillment. Amazon sending me a lot of stuff. A lot of anonymity in the air today. Poster strips. There's poster strips here. And I'm wondering, maybe the poster strips could be for this, perhaps? Let's see what's in here. All right. I'm thinking th these two go together. Let's see. Is there anything else in here? Anything else in there? I don't see anything else in there. USPS first class mail shipped to Adam the Woo. Do not see an address on there. A lot of anonymity in the air. All right, here we go. Let's see what this could be. Congratulations on your new place from Shabless Klein. Thank you, Shabless. Klein and you have had sent to me, oh my gosh, roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. That is awesome. There's the DeLorean, of course, the famous quote that Chris Lloyd delivers at the very end of Back to the Future, part one. Absolutely fantastic. I do need stuff to decorate the walls. Thank you so, so much for that. And I'm guessing these poster strips were from you as well. So thank you very, very much. That is from Shabless Klein. Am I pronouncing that right? Shabless Klein. Thank you so much for that, for the poster tube. Man, I just, look at all this stuff. How would you react if people sent you all this stuff? I really am absolutely blown away by you guys. And I, I say that with, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot express how amazing the fact that you guys are even interested in what I did. The fact that you guys actually send me posters, DVDs, non-chocolates full of woo glass with sticky things to put on the wall. Absolutely amazing. Okay, this is from another anonymous person. No, it's not. It's from someone named Albert Glasheen in Jacksonville, Florida. I love Jacksonville, Florida. I am a former Floridian. So I know all about Florida. I do love Jacksonville. And here is a letter. I'm guessing this is a self-addressed stamped envelope, which I will be sending some stickers to you, Albert. And also you have, oh, this is a book that Albert wrote, Flag 9. I have not read this yet. I do not know anything about this, so I cannot give you a review on it. But Flag 9 was from Albert G. Rives, or is it Reeves? Yes, the same guy. I'm getting this correct. Albert Glusheen. Is it Glusheen? That's hard to really read your writing there. But Arthur, a author, I should say, A.G. Rives or Reeves. So check out his book. Actually, my roommate, Tyler, is a writer as well. Maybe I should get Tyler to get a hold of you, or maybe you should get a hold of Tyler. Do not know what this is about. I will have to read it. Thank you so much for sending me your book. And I will also be sending you self-addressed stamped envelope full of stickers of stepping all over these wonderful things. All right, priority mail. Really hope we get to all this in one blog because that would be a bummer if we could not fulfill all these wonderful packages in the blog today. So I better hurry, going to hurry. Priority mail, do not see an address from Timothy Martin in Fargo, North Dakota. You have sent me all kinds of stuff. Oh my goodness. All kinds of stuff. Goodness gracious. This is trash. This is not, that is not trash. Trash is over there. I'm trying to keep everything organized. Dear Adam, I wanted you to have a pocket HDTV. Like when you're at McDonald's or on the go, you can watch TV and take it with your bike too. There's an antenna jack, etc., etc. To hook it up to an antenna. It's been sitting in my place for five years. It's for you to use. Very, very cool. Wild parrots. We were talking about the wild parrots. He's mentioning the wild parrots about how they got to Orange County, which is very cool. So here we have, here's the antenna he was describing. Here's some papers that are keeping all this safe. When you're sending it through the mail, you definitely got to make sure everything is safe. And secure. Oh my gosh, look at this. This has nothing to do with the package, but that's Peter Falk right there. This is an old newspaper. 
I love Columbo. In fact, I mentioned him in this vlog already. Peter Falk, just one question. Just one question, ma'am. Just one more question. Ma'am, what is inside of here? This is awesome. An HD TV with a pen, I'm guessing. I gotta figure all this out. And some batteries and the antenna. So I'll put this down here on the ground. I have a pile of concoction going on right down here. A lot of good stuff. All right, continuing on. Is there an address on here? From Maggie Bells in Bluffton, Bluffton, South Carolina. Maggie Bell has sent me bubble wrap, a letter, a self-addressed stamped envelope for the stickers, and a letter. Hi, Adam. Love your videos. Found you a few years ago and your Disney videos. I've been watching you. I've been a big fan ever since. I love the fact that you say we can live vicariously through you. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old twins and two-year-old twins. I stay at home and while the hubs, that's short for husband, is at works, so your mom, so this mom doesn't get to go to too many cool places. Always fun to see what your next adventure is. I have an online design business and I made these for you. Facebook.com backslash Maggie Bells, M-A-G-G-I-E-B-E-L-L-E-S or Maggie Bells on Etsy and Instagram, Maggie Bells, spelled M-A-G-G-I-E B-E-L-L-E-S. Let's see what she sent me. And if you like it, you can go check out her stuff as well. Oh, yes. Maggie Bells. Let's woo this. That is cool. And she has her own little, little emblem there. So you can actually order something from her as well. And another one. Join me, shall you? That is cool. So if anyone wants any of these, you can go over to Maggie Bell's page on Facebook that I wrote off, read off before. I'll throw that down there. I'll throw this letter down there to read letter. Here's one of the stickers for self-addressed stamps envelopes that I will be sending you. Thank you so much. This is from Ken Palmer. Open this up. See what Ken has sent me. Self-addressed stamped envelope. Ah, Lawrenceville, Georgia. I know who Ken Palmer is. You've been following me a very long time. Hey Adam, so glad you have a P.O. box again. Looking forward to getting a sticker. We've been talking online since early 2011. You're right, you actually started watching my videos. You were one of the first few subscribers. I really thank you for watching, man. You've always been there for me since the very beginning. I really appreciate it. We've been talking online since 2011, like I said. Man, what a journey you have been on. Congrats on the new place, and Happy New Year. Maybe you can do the Greece filming locations. I will do that at some point. Hope to see you at Dragon Con. Are you going to Dragon Con? Roy K. Palmer on Facebook. Roy, Ken, I'm not really sure. Is your name Ken or Roy? I've always called you Roy Palmer. I will be at Dragon Con. I was actually talking to Scott Yukon about actually booking a flight out there soon to Atlanta for Dragon Con, which I think is the first week of September. Really, really good to hear from you, man. I really appreciate all the time you've invested in me and watching my videos. I'm stepping on bubble wrap. All kind of, there's trash all over the floor. There are good things that I've opened over here. Lots of foliage when it comes to trash on the side. Oh, look, Stone Mountain, which I do need to go up here in this lift, which is close to Lawrenceville in Atlanta. I will send you some stickers. Roy K. Roy Ken Palmer. Now I figured it out. All right. So thank you very much, Roy. Really appreciate it. Stone has sent me another package. Stone right here in Covina, California. You have sent me another package. You sent me a self-addressed stamped envelope. But obviously he has something else. Stone has something else that he wants me to see in the form of a non-letter. Actually, it's another one. It's another self... Am I supposed to send you two packets of stickers? Ah, here we go. Adam, if you ever need parts for your van, get a hold of you. Put in a couple dollars for shipping for the stickers. 
Thanks, man. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I always read your posts. Thank you for the support. You're pretty close to me. Maybe one day we can meet up at Disneyland or in the parks. Either way, I will be sending you some stickers. Much appreciated, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a supporter, just like everyone else. Cannot express how awesome this is. This is from Sean McCauley in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Actually, some pictures were being posted recently about how Niagara Falls is frozen. You can see some really cool pictures. I've been in Niagara Falls, filmed the vlog there. Superman 2 was filmed up there, which is actually really super, super awesome. And let's see. Ah, look at this. Adam the Woo Adventures Activity Sheet. There's my van. Sean, I believe, actually runs a company. Let me see if I let me get, see if I can get this straight. He sent me a self-addressed stamped envelope. Adam, like I said before, you've given me a lot of inspiration. Here's a little token of appreciation. Keep up the great work. Rockin' boxes. That's what it is. Sean, rockin' boxes. Do you have a website? Rockin' boxes. I'm not sure if they have a website. If you do, on my Facebook, post it on there. I'll repost it on Facebook. Hopefully you get up to Niagara. But he actually creates. He's a creator. I'm all a big fan. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Look at this. Rockin' boxes. There's me. There's my logo. That is pretty freaking cool, man. And inside here's some coins. You also wrote me another letter, a couple dollars in here. It isn't much, but get something for your house and a meal. Really appreciate this, man. I'm not sure if you have a website. I would love to plug your website. Just Google on Facebook, Rockin' Boxes, R-O-C-K-I-N, no G, just R-O-C-K-I-N, Boxes on Facebook. Very cool. He wants me to do a point break vlog, which I probably will do at some point. This is really awesome. He makes these little tiny boxes that are actually super, super cool. You can put little knickknacks and trinkets in there. And now I have my own personal rockin' box, Adam Lou. Rockin' boxes. All right, man. Put this down here. Really appreciate it. I know we've been talking a while online, so it's cool to actually see the rockin' boxes in the flesh, very cool. This is from Kevin Brun, B-R-U-N. Oh my gosh, all kind of stuff in here. Adam the Woo on the front of this. It's very weird to say your own name and hear your own name back to you so much. It's very unusual feeling, all this is actually very unusual. Thank you, Adam. A Subway gift card, a little bit of money, and I don't know what this is. Thank Woo so much for all you do. Here's some stuff from a longtime viewer. Just wear the hat for me, Kevin. Colorado Mountain College Law Enforcement? Are you a law enforcement officer? That is actually super, super cool. I'm guessing there's a hat in here. Colorado Mountain College DVDs here for me to watch. And what would I watch DVDs on but a DVD player? Dude, this is insane. You sent me a Blu-ray DVD player? We already have one in the living room, but at my door is right there on the left next to Frankenstein in the horror hallway. One day I will get a TV in my own room next to where I slumber. And this will actually work out very well. And inside of here, oh, obviously is a law enforcement, law enforcement training academy. I'm guessing that you run that or you have a lot to do with that. Colorado Mountain College, CMC, and here's the hat. Of course, why would I not wear this? Look at this. I didn't do adjust it though. It's actually kind of tight on me, but it does have the little adjusting thing there. There you go, man. Look at that. That is cool. And I have plenty of things to drink liquids out of. Very, very awesome. Much appreciated. DVD player. Now I can watch Saturday. The 14th down there. Really appreciate the Subway gift card. I'm going to have to go through all of this after the vlog is done and organize. 
what has been sent to me, and you've actually sent your business card. Colorado Mountain College. I'll put that down there in the box with the other stuff. All right, here we go. Stephen Hallman. Man, I cannot hook this one. This one is very secure. Stephen Hallman from Dallas, North Carolina. Stephen Hall, oh my gosh. A Sun Studios shirt. This is pretty awesome. I love Sun Studios. Johnny Cash, Elvis, the early years, very awesome. Very, very cool. Can vlog, but do not read the address. There's all kind of stuff in here. I will actually save these for letter. I'll put them over here. The letters as well. You also sent me a Mickey 2015 calendar, which I will be putting up in my room, as well as Charles Schultz, of course. The classic, so awesome it hurts. Charlie Brown shirt, Snoopy. Right on top of there. I have plenty of clothes to wear. I will be wearing these, all these shirts you guys are giving me in future vlogs. Thank you very, very much. I will read those letters, private letters, after the vlog. All right, continuing on. Man, I gotta figure out, I gotta figure out another way to do this where it flows a little bit better. I will not be editing these vlogs because editing my main channel is very, 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 very difficult and time consuming. So I want to like keep these vlogs unedited. What do you guys think about these unedited vlogs? Whoa, Fox Comics, Red, Red Fox Comics, sorry. Red Fox Comics has sent me a box full of comics, I'm guessing. Red Fox, Red Fox should say. Red Fox Comics in Lansing, Michigan. You have sent me Return of the Living Deadpool. Please show in the vlog Return of the Living Deadpool. Red Fox Comics in Lansing, Michigan. If you live in Lansing, Michigan, swing by. Say hello to the Red Fox guys. Whoa! Stepping on this Red Fox. This kind of sounds like, what was the TV show that Red Fox was on? <laughs> Different Red Fox. Hey Adam, thanks for all the great videos. Here is a free comic for you to enjoy. Thanks, and I cannot read your signature, so I'm just gonna call you Red Fox. I have a visual of what you look like, and you look like Red Fox that ran the junkyard. What was that guy's name? Red Fox was the actor, but what was the name of the television show? Really, really appreciate this. I'm not familiar with this series, but I will be checking this out as I lay my head down to bed on my pillow at night, I'll be reading about Return of the Living Deadpool. Put this envelope over here. I will put this with the rest of this. And we're getting to the nitty gritty. Happy Valentine's Day. You may vlog. So I will. Lisa Carnes in Davis, California. Do not want to cut my hand off. We do not want that happening in the vlog. A lot of tape, a lot of tape on this one. Oh my God, so much tape. I'm being attacked by tape. Hey Adam, for your room. Hope that you can do some road trips up to North California, which I will be doing self-addressed stamped envelope here. So I'll be sending you some stickers. Large print, scenic calendar with beautiful scenery. Look at all these scenic, scenic views in the back. So I have a lot of calendars. I will never forget what day it is because now I have two calendars. Thank you, thank you very much. That was from Lisa. Much appreciated, Lisa. And I will be coming up to North. California as well. Once I get settled, a lot of people said, when are you going to start traveling again? I do have a road trip planned. And I will be going up to North California as well as over to Vegas. And a lot of other areas down to San Diego. I'm just trying to get settled first. Get my bearings here in Southern California and then go from there. Try to open together if 
possible perishables inside. This is actually from La Uinia and Mikey. Is that how you pronounce your name? Lawinia? I am not I'm not actually pronouncing your name right. From Tucson, Arizona. They've addressed it to me, to Justin Scar from Live Fast Life 4, and Tyler Evans, who is my roommate. Justin does not live here. In fact, he's up in in San Francisco right now, I believe. Tyler is actually at work. I'm here by myself. So we are not going to be able to open it together, but I wanted to open this. In fact, I'm doing the mail vlog today. I was going to wait till Monday because I did not want to do the mail vlog too frequently. But I'm doing it today because on the front of it, it says perishables inside. I was worried there might be food in here. From now on, don't send me anything that's perishable because I do not know how often I'm going to be able to check my P.O. box, especially if I'm traveling around. Definitely want to make sure something is not sitting at the post office that's perishable, something that needs to be in the refrigerator or not. So I'm curious what is in here. I will share this stuff with Justin and Tyler, but I'm opening it in my blog today as well. So here we go. To Adam, Justin, and Tyler from Lavinia, L-I-V-I-N-N-I-I-A, and Mikey, thank you so much for the videos, congratulations on the new homes, and a list of all kinds of stuff, contact underneath. So, there are Lots of popcorn, Mountain Dews, Mountain Dews, popcorn, all kind of chips. Oh my gosh, look at this, all this stuff. Whoa, the Lost Boys. All three of us love the Lost Boys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read your letter. In fact, when Justin gets back into town, and Tyler get back into town. I will post this on my Instagram, Adam the Woo on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. So go over to the Adam the Woo Instagram in a few days. We'll all get together. We will enjoy your popcorn. We'll enjoy the Lost Boys. I will let them know that you have sent this. Kind of difficult to go through all of this on the vlog, but here is the list. It says, look inside. There's stuff inside, and you have also put a self-addressed stamped envelope. I do not want to Take all this for myself because it is addressed also to Justin Scard and, of course, Tyler Evans, who is my roommate. For future reference, please don't send anything perishable because it might be very difficult. Like, this stuff is fine because this stuff actually lasts a while. I was kind of thinking it was going to be, like, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And I was getting kind of scared that maybe the Postmaster General was going to come knocking on my door and say, Why is this rotting fruit in here? But this... Is absolutely awesome. So check Instagram, check Justin's Instagram and Tyler's Instagram. We will post pictures of us devouring popcorn and all that good stuff. So thank you very much from, how do you pronounce your name? Lavinia and Mikey. L-A-V-I-N-N-I-A. Lavinia? Lavinia. Very cool name. Thank you very, very much for that. Last few, which look like they might all be from the same person. It all came from Amazon Prime. No return address anywhere on these. Let's see what is in here. A hundred and fifty thousand volts. A hundred and fifty thousand volts of goodness. It's one of those shocker things. So I can actually shock someone if I need protecting. So someone is actually thinking about my well-being, and if I need to be attacked, or if I am being attacked, I have something to protect myself. And look at this. A Mr. Rogers Changing Sweaters Mug. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love Mr. Rogers. That is absolutely awesome. I need to get back to Pittsburgh and actually film a video at Mr. Rogers' hometown, which is actually where, I think actually where his studios were as well. Let's see, there actually might be a, nope, there is no return name in here. This is from a non, ah, Joel Beaver. Joel Beaver, a good friend of mine, who was in a vlog. Hey Adam, thought I'd send you a housewarming gift. Good luck out in California. Joel Beaver, who I think actually has a music channel on YouTube. Joel Beaver Music, am I getting that correct, Joel? So just Google 
Joel Beaver music. Thank you very much, Joel, for that. Really love it. It's a shame about the miniature train that actually went away. We did the vlog of. Luckily, we were actually able to hang out that day to do the miniature train. Oh, look at this. It's a Mickey. It's a Mickey mug. It's a Mickey Mouse mug warmer. Wow, that is cool. Is it actually really a mug warmer? Oh, yeah, look at this. So I have Mr. Rogers to drink my coffee out of and Mickey Mouse with a mug warmer. So that is actually super awesome. Who is this from? There's no return address on this one. This one does not have a return address. So if you sent me the Mickey Mouse mug warmer, really appreciate that. All right, last one. This is a big one. Whoa! Garbage bags. Abyssal, we mean clean sweeping mechanism to clean up things. Clorex disinfectant wipes. This person must know I'm a complete slob and I need help cleaning things. Toilet cleaning kit and some little air fresheners for breeze. Air fresheners. Oh my gosh. We have reached the end of this. Got to make this short and sweet because this is the longest vlog ever. 51 minutes. I know I get a little overly excited. I know it's very sporadic. If I missed anyone, if I did not read what you wanted to be done, I apologize if I went too quick. I'm going to go back through this throughout the entire day, read everything, soak it all in. If I got a little too goofy, too, little too excited in this vlog, I really apologize. I'm not trying to take any of this lightly. It's very overwhelming, the love that you guys show to me. All those self-addressed stamped envelopes, I'm going to go through theirs. I'm going to clean all of this trash up. I'm going to take all this and organize it. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. If you have any suggestions about how to do these, I will not be editing these mail vlogs because it takes too much time to edit. However, if you have any suggestions about how to go about doing the mail vlogs, I would appreciate you leaving some comments down below. I love all you guys that sent me this stuff. Every bit of it. Every letter, every envelope, every t-shirt, every DVD. All this food, the popcorn, the Blu-rays, the DVDs, the Mountain Dew, everything. The Back to the Future poster, the comics, the calendars, the Join Me Shall You, water bottles, every single bit of all of these t-shirts, all of this means a lot to me. Don't ever think I'm taking any of this for granted. I seriously, absolutely love you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.